Fantastic. We have the Mathers family. I'm Valerie Milano from the Hollywood Times. Hello. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you so much. We're all here together. Yes. And having a good time. Having a good time so far. Well, it's going to not be so far. It's going to be the whole night. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Y'all are feeling great? It's very nice. A lot of friends that we haven't seen very often, so we all get together whenever these things come up. I'm president of the Motion Picture Mothers, which uh, that's what they're honoring tonight. They're putting us in the Hollywood Museum. So we're very, very honored. Have you ever been here before? I have once. Yes. He, I yes. I haven't. I graduated from Hollywood High. And you know, tonight, and you know, Gigi <laughs> is here. A long time ago, in the 40s, during World War II. <laughs> and where did you graduate from? Notre Dame High School and then Berkeley. Yes. But Berkeley for a college. Oh, in Berkeley. Okay. Well, that's a great school. Philosophy major. Say what? He was a philosophy major. Were you really? And what got you into acting? I've been an actor since I was two years old, so it didn't yes. really get. This is very true. This just accidentally. Into no, he, just, into he just accidentally got into it. He, he was just shopping in the department store, and some lady said, Oh, you're a little. She started talking to him, and I was holding his hand, and I was looking, trying to find something to wear. And she said, uh, Why don't you uh, take him up to the. Uh, they're looking for bottles. And so I took him up to the 10th floor, the Broadway downtown, and. Um, they, they the hired him, and then from then he just started working all the time. How do you describe what a great story! I was in the right place at the right time. One of those stories. Got lucky. I love it. What wonderful family. That's fantastic. Well, thank you for joining the Hollywood Times tonight, and I hope to see you inside. Okay. Yeah, good. You're looking for you. Yeah. Hey, her book. Yeah. Look at that. This is beautiful. Look at that book. All right. My mom. This is her story. We had her uh, tell her story to this wonderful writer. And uh, it's a swell book about how, uh, you know, she was a single mom raising two kids when she was auditioning for Gary Marshall and doing these shows. So uh, I have a lot of respect for my mother. She's changed my life and the lives of a lot of people. Wow, and it's a special time to meet you as well on this Mother's Day weekend. Yeah, so I'm an actor too. I follow in my mother's footsteps. I'm on the Big Door Prize on Apple TV+. Plus. I play Chris O'Dowd's father. So I, like my mother who started off playing an Irish character on live TV, I am also playing an, an Irish character, but not on live TV, on streaming, which is not live at all. Well, congratulations on that and for having a very talented mother. And you're very talented you yourself. I'm actually, I, I know a lot about you. So, yes, yes, yes. And what do you think that's going to be going on inside? I have really no idea at all. I mean, it's a great mystery what will occur inside, behind these hallowed walls. I have no idea at all. No, I imagine it's going to be a big celebration of TV moms and motherhood in general, I hope. And uh, it should be a jolly time. Well, we look forward to seeing you inside. Great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Love it. Love it. Hello. I'm Valerie from the Hollywood Times. Hello, Valerie. Hi. Can you tell us who you are? Okay. I am Susan Olson, best known for being the youngest. I like to say youngest now. Um, youngest on the Brady Bunch. Yes, of course you are. And 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 what are, what are you doing here tonight? Why are you celebrating mothers? Are you one? I'm a mother. Um, I wouldn't qualify to be a member of this club because my son's not an actor. Thank God. Um, he's a musician. <laughs> so much better. <laughs> um, I, but my mother qualified to be in this club probably in 1941. I don't know when she joined, and there's nobody alive that I can ask. But um, she was a member before I was ever born. My, my oldest brother started working when he was five years old, and he was 24 when I was born. So uh, mom was already a member for years before I qualified. So what are you expecting to see inside? Old friends, you know. Um, <laughs> Good. Old friends. I'll, I'll see the museum. I've been to this museum a million times. And, uh, you know, just have fun. I love it. I haven't been here yet, so I'm very, very curious. I, I know that there's a lot of friends that you probably already recognized. And um, I think it's going to be a great time. So I just wanted to thank you for joining the Hollywood Times. Thank you very much. And I hope to see you inside. Okay, great. Thank you, Susan. 
good deal. Well, I don't know about that, but this is Valerie Milano. Hi there. Hi, I'm Valerie from the Hollywood Times, and you are? Darby Hinton. How are you doing? Darby's start on. Okay. Daniel okay. Boone. What are we Israel working on that's exciting to you? Well, in Days of Our Lives and about a few other things in the last 60 years. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that's I've, I've already done two westerns this year, and I'm off in about three weeks to do another western. So, oh, well, I don't know if you can thank me for doing it, but I'm sure grateful they're there. Yeah, I had so much fun on this last one; it was really good. I was called was once a hero, and uh, we got um, Johnny Cash's son in it, J.C. Cash. And we got Shane. We have a lot of fun people in it. And, uh, you know, it's always fun to strap on a six-shooter, go grab a horse, and play cowboy. I always still love to do that, huh? Uh-huh. When did you start your Western? When did I start them? Uh, probably about 60 years ago. <laughs> six zero? You're only 60. What are you talking about? Oh, Where is she great? <laughs> <laughs> now I've been I've been doing westerns for like Big Valley uh, I did the wagon train I did a lot of west I, I just love the the wagon you know I love the western people well thank you thank you you're so sweet uh, I'm off to Oklahoma Listen to do a, to another western there. Don't forget, come to the Hollywood Museum. <laughs> Listen to the beaver. Are you allowed to say that in 2023? <laughs> I, know, right? yes, I mean, it's the beaver. But he's never had a picture with a real beaver. No, can you believe that? I know. No, I'm gonna bring no, one next you, time. Did, I'm gonna rent hey, one. Have somewhere. you ever had a real picture with a raccoon other than I the hat? I used to have pet raccoons all the oh, time. Did you? Yes. I didn't know that. I got a great shot of Fess putting a raccoon on my head. Okay, so anyway, you, didn't mean to jump in there, no, buddy. But that's a great one. That's a great one. <laughs> okay, so we're going about, about the Hollywood Museum. Go to HollywoodMuseum.com. Oh, please. I was raised by a single mom, so I have the utmost respect for mothers. I. I don't know how she did it. I mean, you know, with with two people in the house, it's hard. And she had three kids uh, back when women were even weren't supposed to do that much. But you know, she started Waif International with Jane Russell and brought us up. And and like I said, I, I have all the respect in the world for moms. Have you ever been here before? Oh, absolutely! I love this museum. It's so great. Every time I get to do stuff like this, I sneak away and see if there's some other little corner I haven't seen. Well, I haven't seen. Judy and I have not seen it, so we're going to see you inside. Ah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. We'll see you inside. Enjoy. Okay. Thank you. Pleasure. Hi, Kate. Haven't seen you since uh, the red carpet at the Hollywood Christmas Parade, maybe, or other. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It'll be that way before we know it, right? No, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. So, yeah, we're almost June. It happens fast, right? I know. Really, really fast. So, uh, what brings you out here tonight for Mother's Day? Well, it's Mother's Day, and we're selling, well, Mother's Day coming up soon and we're celebrating you know there's famous mothers and their children or famous children and their mothers so you've got both going on and uh, and the Hollywood Museum is so great because you can come here every day and see something different so uh, I just I love being part of that I've never been here. What do you do? You think there's going to be much different tonight, or do you already know? You need to see. It's great. And yet the elevator is really amazing. You have to look up and when it goes. You won't believe it. It's got all the stained glass up there. It's really, really great. You, yeah. It's the old Max Factor building, right? Yes. Old Max Factor building, and there's different rooms like. There's the blonde room and the redhead room, and it's different brunette room. So there's different lighting in each of these rooms, and then so they would, what goes with so, I would have different lighting than, than you would. You know, we would have different uh, rooms and uh, their makeup in those rooms. It's really neat. Oh, cool. Well, it's a pleasure to see you again, and I will see you inside. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello. Oh, how special. Thank you very much. I'm Valerie Milano, and we're from the Hollywood Times. Nice to meet you. And uh, what brings you out this weekend on Mother's Day to the Hollywood Museum at the Max Factor Building? 
Well, uh, two things. One, um, I'm known for playing a mother on television on um, a very prominent, well-known sitcom called The Big Bang Theory. And I played Raj's mom for eight seasons, a rather meddling... Um, I mean, it was comedic, but <laughs> she was kind of meddling. And two, it's my birthday, so today. So, you know, after the pandemic and everything else, we don't we don't want to stay home on our birthday. Happy birthday. That's so special. Thank you. Are you going to do anything after or what? <laughs> this is it. <laughs> well, we'll toast you inside. What do you think we're going to see inside? Have you been here before? Oh, I've been here many, many times. Yeah, they always they always put together a good exhibit. Yeah, so. And um, so the Big Bang Theory. What what else do you, are you planning? Anything else in the near future? Oh, I have two projects in post production. I have a, an Apple TV series with a prominent celebrity, but I can't talk about it because they signed a a large NDA, and it's still in post. And also, I just completed a lead role in an independent thriller. So, before this crazy strike, that's great. Yeah, no, before the strike, yes, indeed. So, um, I'm glad that there's something in the can. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, and congratulations on all your endeavors. And uh, yay, happy uh, uh, Artist Mother's Day and birthday mostly. Yeah, exactly. Thank you so much. Oh, well, it just started getting cold. Hello, I'm Valerie from the Hollywood Times. Mandy, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to see you. Thank you. So what are you doing here tonight for the Mother's Day event? Oh, so I called my mom on my way here. It just made me feel really good to talk to her. And I, you know, started thinking, gosh, you know, what moms influenced me that I watched growing up? I couldn't get past the Brady Bunch. Good old Carol Brady, Florence Henderson. So I just uh, feel like, for me, she's the most iconic mom I think of. We were just talking about uh, Michael Learned. She just walked in. Mm -hmm. you know, the Walton, so oh, another one, right? Of course, yes, yeah. absolutely. We didn't get a chance to talk to her, but maybe when we sneak in. Um, yeah. But yeah, so where is your mom? My mother lives in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Hot Springs. Hot Springs. Hot Springs, Hot Springs Arkansas, yes. yes. She's not cold. <laughs> you know, weather's wacky everywhere right now. <laughs> I think it's Scottsdale. I think Arizona is really hot, and then everywhere else is just cold and unpredictable. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's beautiful to see you. So, what are you up to these days? I am working on a few personal projects that I've um, been in the creative process with uh, producing. I'm I'm a I'm a multi hyphenate. That's that's the word we use now. So uh, I'm an actress who produces and writes, and I do costuming, and. So so um, I'm juggling between uh, a commercial campaign and uh, a screenplay that uh, we're we're in early stages of development on, trying to get get on its feet. It's a weird time to try to work right now with the strike. So um, staying within the boundaries of that, I'm, I'm, you know, staying positive and and uh, joining forces with my creative friends, and we're. So working, gosh, you uh, finding more work. Anything, right? <laughs> so, well, you, talk, you spoke with your mom, and we're going to go inside and see more photos and exhibits of moms. And I'm glad to meet you, and thank you for saying hi. Oh, it's so nice to meet you, too. Bye. Bye. Hi, yes. He was trying to introduce us earlier, but now we got our moment. Hi, Valerie Milano from the Hollywood Times, and you are? Meredith Thomas. You are. Hi. So br what brings you out here tonight? Well, I was, I, you know, I was thinking about it on the way here, and I think that, um, I think of all the iconic television moms, and my generation was, um, we were latchkey kids, a lot of us, and I think of how I would come home and, you know, see those TV moms. Like, I actually saw... Every, I think I saw every single Brady Bunch probably around, um, I mean, I think I, I knew ev lines to them. I saw them so many, that, like the repeats. I'd come home and watch the repeats and and, um, and then ended up, 
I saw, I ended up studying at the same school that Florence Henderson, like ironically, ended up studying at the same school that Florence Henderson went. Her her daughter is very active in the Television Academy, as am I. And, and so I, I think about those moms that represented the perfect mom, and we come from generations where, well, we know there's no perfect moms, but we kind of like to believe, and those television moms were, were, were that for us. And so all these iconic moms... Um, uh, Mary and um, Mary and Ross spoke at my my graduation. So I have pictures of me as a very young actress with Mary and Ross, and I know her son is supposed to be here tonight. And so there's just holding her book. Oh my gosh! Yes. So I'll have to tell. I oh my gosh! I'll have to dig out that picture of Mary and Ross and I from a lot of years ago. <laughs> school was that? It was the American Academy of Dramatic Arts and that so she came and spoke there and we came and spoke at my graduation it was at the Pasadena Playhouse and then again um, and then again that's where Florence Henderson graduate is a graduate of as well so I have this ended up becoming an actress and having these all these um, full circle moments with television moms <laughs> Yeah, that's why you're here. I get it. Yeah, get it's a beautiful it. thing. Yeah. Well, have a great time. I'll see you inside. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Valerie Milano from the Hollywood Times. Hi, and I'm Stephen Wishnoff from my mother. And so what are you doing here tonight? Well, I'm here helping to celebrate Hollywood moms across the years and having worked with Michael Learned, who's one of the moms, um, it's my honor to honor her. Not that I don't even when we're sitting over lunch or whatever, because, I mean, we hang out, but, you know, she's a Hollywood mom, so I'm here to celebrate her. And what are you expecting to see inside? I'm not sure. You can never tell what Danelle has cooked up inside that museum. And so I look forward to whatever surprises the evening holds. Me too. It's all surprises. So we will see you in there for those surprises. And we can talk more in there and, and, and take notes together. We can do that. And I, I'm told somewhere in there there are pictures of me with my childhood pet. I'm like, okay, um, which one? Because I grew up with a lot of them. And it, it was my first, the, actually, I was his first pet. I was, they brought me home from the hospital. He parked himself under my crib. And we were inseparable until I was almost 14. Long life, right? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, you got to treat your fur-faced fur siblings as well as anybody else. I probably treated Blitz better than my brother, but don't tell my brother that. And how about your mother? Do you, would you like to talk about her? I can tell you that my mother is a force of nature, and that's a little bit genetic, as you can tell by how shy I am. And you can't grow up in this industry and be that shy. I mean, so I got that from her, to be sure. And she introduced me to show tunes. Eric, you're adorable. Great. Oh, thank you. Hi, my friend. How are you? I'm Valerie Milano from the Hollywood Times. And you? I'm Jerome Dubois from TV One's Unsung and uh, the ID Network. Excellent. So you're here in Los Angeles? Yes, I am. I am here from Los Angeles. All right. Well, we, I, I'm at the, uh, work with the Television Critics Association, so we're always at your press tour when we can be. So that. That's All a good right. thing. That's yeah. absolutely a good thing. And absolutely. you're here tonight because? Uh, to celebrate mothers. I think it's one of the most important things that we can ever do, particularly not just in Hollywood, but just in, in general. But I think the, the lack of not being able to make sure that we remember the reason that we're all here to begin with is so important and necessary, and uh, I wanted to make sure that I was here and to celebrate it with a few friends as well. Isn't it beautiful? And what a great night we have. What, what do you think we're going to see inside? Uh, I am interested in seeing some of the pictures, some of the iconic pictures with people with their moms, and I think that's so important, and uh, I think that's, I think it's good. I'm just glad, I'm and grateful that uh, they always allow me to uh, have an opportunity to be here, so uh, I love that. You look fantastic. We look forward to seeing you inside. Thank, Thank you so you. much. I appreciate it. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. On Mother's Day, and what we might see here at the museum along with the exhibit. Beautiful. Little house on the prairie. All right, love it. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm glad.
Hollywood. I'm Valerie Milano from the Hollywood Times. And what are you doing here tonight? I came to um, enjoy this wonderful exhibit. It's celebrating moms. It's, I think it's a wonderful way to pay tributes to the women of Hollywood and the moms of Hollywood. And you want to talk about your own? My own mother. Oh. My mom, um, on the show I had Karen Grassley, and she was a wonderful mom. She was my mom for eight years while I was doing the show. So I grew up with two moms when I was young, my mom, mom, and Karen Grassley. And my mom was very loving and very sweet. Um, uh, she was very stern when she needed to be, too, but she was a great mom, and I love her dearly. Good for you. Good for you. What, what are you expecting to see inside? I'm just expecting to see a fabulous celebration of mothers and their lo unconditional love and, and the tribute that they do because they, they teach us all so much, you know. Yeah, I'm, not I'm not sure what to expect, but I can't wait. Me too. Me too. But we will see you in there. Thanks for your time. Thank you so much. <laughs>